Liar, liar, pants on fire. We're getting back to the basics with this episode, starting with the truth. After all, it is the foundation of everything. Are you being truthful with yourself? Hello, friend. I'm Jen Eads, the head broad in charge at the Brassy Broadcasting Company, and this is the Brassy Broadcast, the podcast that is a reclamation of that bold, brazen, audacious broad living inside all of us. That's right, fellas. She's in you too. Don't be scared. We're starting this episode with a confession. Now, this is normally where I would have put in the organ music, but I'm recording this at the last minute to hit my self-imposed deadline of publishing on Saturday. Here's my confession. I've been lying to myself, or at least I was, until recently. It all started when I bought a new journal earlier this year. I'd been struggling to keep myself organized. I had my Google Calendar for my appointments and my podcast production schedule, but I was struggling with my daily to-do list. They were on a list pad, but they were scattered all over. Therefore, I felt scattered and all over and totally unorganized. So I started this quest to find a planner slash journal where I could keep track of my life. And I tried to do it all online in the past, and that was a disaster because I'm just an analog girl at heart. I need to hold it in my hands and write in it every day. I need to be able to grab it and flip through the pages. So I ordered a planner from Clever Fox because it had a place to list out daily habits and track them. And I know that I need consistency and good habits. I have a daily morning routine, and I'm always better when I stick with it. I'll tell you, I've never paid this much for a three-month planner. Because they're in like the $30-ish range for three months, not even the whole year. But I couldn't find one that I liked better. So I thought, I'll give this a shot because I need to do something. If it doesn't work. I'll go find another one. Well, now I'm buying a new planner in a different color every three months. Is it bananas to spend over $100 a year in planners? I don't think so, because it's working. At least it's working for me. I am the most organized and focused I've ever been. So it was going great, this relationship with my new planner, until I realized I was lying to myself. There's a section at the beginning of each week where you write down your 10 daily habits so you can track them for every day of the week. And there's also a space on the daily pages that I use to write down daily affirmations. And one of the things I write every morning is, I do what I say I'm going to do. So I was writing the statement every morning, but I was never completing all of my daily habits that I was writing. I wasn't even consistently completing half of them. My affirmation that I do what I say I'm going to do was total BS. And then when I did my end of week review, I had to make up excuses for why I wasn't doing the daily habits that I thought were important enough that I had written them down. It feels awful to realize that you're lying to yourself. So something had to change. I set the bar super low. I wrote that my main goal for every day was to complete five daily habits for five out of seven days. That felt manageable and like something that I could make true. So it felt like a good place to start. I hit the goal a few days that first week, but then I struggled for a while. I can now report that I've hit my goal and completed at least five of my daily habits all seven days of the week for the past three weeks. It's becoming ingrained in me. Now I am a person that really does do what I say I'm going to do. And I can't go to bed now if I still haven't completed at least five of the daily habits. It feels so much better to know that what I'm writing is true, that I do what I say I'm going to do, Because integrity is a core value for me. And now what I'm writing is true, and it's in alignment with my core values, and I just feel 
better. So it's a wild Saturday night as I'm recording this podcast. I've committed to publishing this podcast every other Saturday. It's another habit that I'm committed to working on and making true. One thing I know to be true for me is that I won't trust myself to do the big things on my list if I'm not honoring my commitments to the seemingly small things and habits that I've said are important to me. If you know that you're lying to yourself in some area of your life, take a time out. Reset. Maybe what you thought was important at one time really isn't that important. That's fine. Then let it go. If it is important and you want to work towards it, set the bar super low, give yourself a goal you know you can hit, and then slowly start raising the bar. It's working for me, at least for the daily habits. We'll see down the road how it works for the bigger things. All right, friend, I want to hear from you. Instagram is my jam. I'm there hanging out singing songs, sharing daily adventures. I'm also starting to get on TikTok a little more. I'm at Brassy Broad Jen on Instagram and TikTok. We can continue this conversation there. I want to hear from you. What are your daily habits? What have you lied to yourself about in the past? And how did you stop lying to yourself? It's time to be bold and brassy, friends. What are you waiting for? Thanks for listening. Now get out in the world and do some good.